Good morning, it's James. It is so good to see you today. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I'm deeply grateful to have the honor and the blessing of laying eyes on you. And I do hope and pray that this message finds you and all the people that you love peaceful, thriving, and very, very well. So today we are gonna go on a journey to Vegas. And we're gonna go on this journey via my home gym and a whole lot of other beautiful things that we can do to help us to support and heal our nervous system via our vagus nerve. Now, if you've been following along over the last few years, you've most likely heard me share my stories about my childhood, uh, some of the trauma that I've experienced, some of the ways that trauma still here in my 60th year of living continues to find its way in to teach me that yet I still have good work to do, a lot of healing work to do. And I know many of you in this community have shared stories about your own trauma work and helping you to heal your nervous system and the work that you continue to do. I just want you to know I'm so proud of you. I love you. I'm gonna continue to encourage us to do this great work. And I also wanna share with you some very powerful research that's come on about how the vagus nerve, which is our 10th cranial nerve, it's the longest of all our cranial nerves, starts in our brainstem, winds down through our chest, our heart, our lungs, into our digestive system, diaphragm, just kind of works its way through. And it really is a part of helping us when it's strong and fortified and healthy, helps us to normalize our stress response, helps us to heal PTSD, helps us to perform better in all areas of our life, helps us to be less triggered. The list goes on and on, helps us to sleep, helps us to be more resilient. Every reason why all of us should be focusing on daily how we can feed and nourish our vagus nerve. So some of the things that we can do, which is amazing, is helping ourselves by choosing to laugh each and every day, doing what we can to breathe from our diaphragm, simple deep breaths, taking all the way down our diaphragm, hold it four to six seconds, release it slowly. Try to do that every 10, 15, 20 minutes, just taking a non-deep breath like that. Oh my goodness, totally helps our vagus nerves, helps to equalize our emotions, helps us to balance, it's truly healing. Number three, exercise. That's why I'm here in this room deck, subliminal here overtly. Continue to say everybody, whether it's moving your body through bicycling, I, over here to my left was my Peloton, I'm on that every morning, first thing. Meditation over here in my yoga mat, breathing practice, lifting weights, all types of exercise, taking a walk. Whatever it is that you will do and you will follow through on is beautiful for your vagus nerve. Number four, Cold exposure outside of the door here. I have my cold plunge, but just cold water on your face after you brush your teeth, uh, finishing your morning shower with ice cold water, five, 10, 30, 60 seconds or more is amazing. Uh, as I said, meditation. Interesting enough, connecting with people that you love. Um, this community is part of my connecting with people I love. This is Vegas nerve nourishment for me when I push the go button and I see you, so thank you. Um, giving and receiving compliments. So just sharing kindness, extending kindness, being with people who see you and compliment and give you love and say supportive things. All of this helps our nervous system and our vagus nerve, of course. Singing, interesting enough, great study that was done on singing in the shower or singing in the car before we go to work or on our way home from doing errands, whatever the case may be, three or four uh, minutes of your favorite song, singing loudly, open the windows, really give yourself permission to fully exercise your lungs, your vagus nerve loves it, and your nervous system wallows in that beauty. Praying will help us, and yes, healthy fats from things like fish, nuts and seeds, pumpkin seeds, almonds, macadamia nuts, wild caught salmon, halibut, whatever the case may be, whatever it is that you look to go for, nuts and seeds and cold water fish are phenomenal for our vagus nerve. So I think the opportunity is to look at this research and pick the things that you can do, one, two, three things that you do every single day, and most importantly, be a witness. Pay attention to when you're doing and say, this is me loving on myself. This is me nourishing my vagus nerve. This is me healing myself. This is love in action. There's so much good that we can do and when we go to Vegas conscientiously with a deep connection to the possibility of healing our entire life, we do some of the greatest work of our life. Thank you for being you and thank you for showing up heart first and loving out loud. Much love, all blessings.
Bye for now.